Hello Rebels and welcome back to my life. Been a little while since I've talked about American politics and I decided after my last couple of political videos that I definitely don't want to make this channel about politics because frankly it, it's exhausting. The fact that my political videos have garnered a ton of views does not make up for the fact that they also attract a whole lot of rabid trolling comments. But I have been paying attention and there's something I've been thinking about a lot with regards to Bernie Sanders. Sanders' rabid, angry, harassing supporters have become a problem. They've been dubbed the Bernie bros. Bros because they're almost always male and by the way almost always white. And they have a tendency to jump all over and vilify anybody who doesn't support Sanders, wholeheartedly and with like shining light coming out of their eyes. And they tend to do it with some pretty vile, disgusting language. Other supporters are less aggressive, but no less energetic. And they tend to talk down to people very condescendingly, which is always a great way to garner support. This ranges from asking black pundits and commentators if they know that Sanders marched with Martin Luther King Jr. And, and like, trust me, they know this. To explaining how racism isn't actually a problem in America, Oh, that's just a manifestation of income inequality. Please, please just don't ever say that, okay? Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. I've been wondering why. Why is this? Why are Bernie bros so fanatical? And why do they surround Sanders in such such greater numbers than we see with any other Democratic candidate now, in this campaign, or in any other campaigns? Sanders has activated a massive support base that is extremely passionate about the message he wants to bring to America. But what is that message? It's about a change in American politics. The political revolution. That's his campaign. And that has roused, I think, a huge number of disgruntled voters who have stayed out of politics politics for years. These bros have seen the huge amount of money that corrupts politics in Washington, D.C., and they have washed their hands of it. They have, they've stayed out of it. They probably haven't voted in the last couple of elections or maybe the last several. They know that the game is very heavily rigged in favor of the powerful elite, and so they have gone into apathy to the point where they no longer want to play that game. And I was that way my first several years as a legal voter. And now someone is coming along promising to change the rules of that game, to get rid of the corrupt in politics so that it becomes a game that everyone can play and that makes it better for everyone involved. Put yourself in that mindset. You feel like you've been robbed of your greatest power as a citizen. You've seen the government do things that are just obviously not in your best interests and yet you feel powerless to do anything about it. And then a politician arrives whose entire platform is change the rules of the game, get the money out of it, take the corruption out, and make government something that we can all participate in that can help everyone everyone and benefit you. To a person who feels like they've been disenfranchised, that's more than an attractive campaign. That is a promise to make America the country that they've always wished it would be. And so they stump for him, they campaign for him, they post on Facebook, and they watch YouTube videos, and they write the blog posts. They do everything they possibly can for him, because here is someone who is going to change the world, which has been too much the same for too long. In that context, it doesn't matter if they're right, just like it doesn't matter if Bernie Bernie Sanders can actually deliver on the promises that he's making. They believe he can. And if you envision that goal, which they can see, and which he is promising to them, it becomes a lot easier to understand why they rabidly dogpile anyone who seems even faintly critical of him. I want to be clear, that doesn't mean it's okay that they do this. It's very much fucking not. But I've just been wondering why they do it in the first place. And I think that's it. If you're a Bernie bro, and by some miracle you've made it this far, please take your lead from the candidate. He and his campaign are on the internet right now begging you to be courteous and respectful. Just, just do what he says. But much, much more importantly, if you are a reasonable Bernie supporter, Put a stop to Bernie bros when they're acting like assholes. If you support Sanders and you see someone being a dick in the name of Sanders, then the best thing you can do for Sanders is telling them to knock it the fuck off. That is how we really help his campaign. And that's what I'm trying to do in this video. And that's it for today, Rebels. I want to give a shout out to my supporters on Patreon who make my YouTube channel possible. If you want to be one of those excellent and attractive people or get signed copies of my books, there are links to both of those things in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.